Have you experienced uh, clicking a photo and later on realizing that you have shot that photo in a wrong light or wrong lighting, the re uh, lighting conditions were not good and you just go ahead and delete it. You just get rid of that photo. So today we'll be learning how to use those photos and make it more beautiful. Hello guys, my name is Hussein, and I'll be teaching you how to remove all the unwanted shadows and brighten your image in today's class. Welcome to HCS Imaginations. Let's get started. So today we'll start with opening Photoshop and this is an image which I had taken long back and I find this image is really good. It's a really good shot, uh, but we have few issues in this like we have a lot of shadows over the trees. Let me just use a paintbrush to highlight to you guys and make it look the brush a little softer. So I have a couple of issues in this. One issue is this. I don't like the shadows over here. This, all the tree shadows and this one especially. This is an unwanted pole, electric pole here, which I need to get rid of and uh, even the peacock even the bird the subject is not much visible so we'll be using uh, an amazing filter on photoshop that is camera raw filter and editing this in just one filter okay i and i really mean it we are going to use only one filter for for the entire process no multi layers nothing just one filter okay so let's get started i'll delete this layer so now, uh, so first we are going to convert this image into a smart object. So for that, we'll, we will go, we can, we can convert smart object using two, uh, two methods. One is right click on the layer, then go to convert smart object, go to convert smart object. So there is another method. So let me just rasterize this layer again. So keep this layer selected and go to filter convert smart object. Okay, this photo is converted now. So there are a lot of uh, uses uh, if you convert this image into a smart object. I'll tell you in the end of the video. So let's get started. I'll just make a copy of this by clicking Control or Command J and I'll unhide one layer and then we'll just directly go to filters camera raw filter okay so we're gonna click this and now I will so yeah so this is camera raw filter it's similar to uh, the raw filter gallery which you get uh, if you have a raw image and if you want to load it on for uh, load it on photoshop you get an, uh, a similar kind of setup but this is for jpeg images okay so first of all we'll we'll just tweak a little bit and crank up the uh, brightness uh, from this subject and reduce the shadows so for that uh, I'll move the exposure slide a little bit. I think this 55, 55 is good. I don't want the photo to be overexposed. And same with the contrast, I'll just go a little bit near 10. And highlights, I want to reduce the highlights by think this because if you increase the highlights a lot of details in the image goes away so I'll reduce the highlights I think 60 60 70 is a good amount and shadows I'm gonna reduce the shadows if you can see a lot of colors are coming back on the image we have a few more steps to go I think 35 is a good amount I will increase the whites to 13 and I'll remove a few of the blacks from the image I think 25 or 27 looks good okay so we have achieved 
a little bit of progress in this so let's go ahead and edit a little more to bring back make this uh, image more beautiful so i will increase the clarity a little bit i don't want to go way ahead because i don't want to sharpen this image a lot i think 47 is a good amount yeah and this i'm i'm just increasing a little bit i'm increasing the vibrance so that my colors are back i think 28 to 30 is a good amount and saturation also i'll increase a little bit yeah this looks much better than what we started right so if we see before and after so this is the before and this is the after so before and after you can see a lot of shadows have been reduced in this image and uh, we've got a good result now so let's go to the next tone curves even here we'll just do a little bit i think just messing around with little bit of tweaks here i don't think we need to go ahead a lot reducing a little bit of darks and removing shadows i think 35 is a good amount yeah 35 looks good okay then i don't think we need to sharpen this image anymore uh, there's not much of noise that we need to reduce so i'm not touching all this but uh, yeah the settings depend depends on your image so if you have a lot of noise in your image then you can use this uh, this guy here we will we will do a lot of uh, other photo photo editings on uh, on my channel so we will use this in future but i don't think it's required now yeah so hcl adjustment is a really good feature in uh, camera raw filter so i will go to luminance here hcl and i want to bring back a lot of blues in the clouds so i will move this to say 30 that is looks good because if i go towards my right i lose all the blues and this doesn't look good so i'll reduce this so that i get all my blues back i think 30 looks good over expo yeah this looks really horrible so yeah this looks good i don't think we have anything uh, any aquas in our image and greens no okay i think this is we are good to go now with this so now we are done we're done with the editing part of brightening this image so let's go back and see the before and after so this is before and this was after you can see a lot of difference in this okay so let's click ok so it's loaded so the layer the filter layer camera filter layer is added to your image as you can see here so, so if i switch off this you can see the difference there's a lot of difference so you can go you can stop here but um, i would just add few more layers yeah to make it uh, look more beautiful so we will add another layer here on top of this selective colors okay so in selective colors i just want to tweak a little bit of blues because i feel they they are too bright so let me just select cyan first and increase the cyan little around here this looks good and same with the blues so if you see so the blues are a little bit shifted to reality now this looks really beautiful let me just reduce this too yeah this looks good now isn't it so now so we are done with the skies so i i want even the 
browns to be more to look much better so what I'm going to do is I will create a new layer gradient map a gradient map layer so we'll just uh, make a new change the colors for this gradient we'll make towards the brownish side so let's edit this you can note that this color it's 5433A3C okay and this side it's FF E B C E and we'll reverse this and we'll change this to hard light and so we'll mask out only the wood from this so let's select our a green gradient layers mask and click command plus i so it's been masked out so we will if we just paint on this wood the layer the the color on this layer would come out so let's select brush by control by select by just clicking on b and let's increase this a little bit okay let's just turn this opacity a little less i think 60 would be good and let's just paint so you can see the color on the wood is coming back so let's increase decrease this by selecting the square bracket as you can see the colors on the wood are looking really good now So it's a rough, rough uh, selection. Go ahead and more, do it more in detail. So you can see the woods are looking really better now. Okay. Okay, missed it here. So yeah, this looks better. So now I think we are almost done with this. Uh, we need to just remove the uh, the pole the electric pole here so so to do that there are a lot of ways to remove this uh, uh, you can use the complete tool here it is spot healing brush or healing brush patch tool content of remove tool so you can use all of them but I like to use a different method create a copy of what I've edited then rasterizes rasterize the layer I can by select by right and clicking on by right clicking and clicking on rasterize layer so this is our independent layer so what we are going to do is we are going to make a selection around this pole so let's make a selection here make sure that your your rasterize layer is selected then we'll go to edit content aware fill click on this so a new dialog box would appear and you can see here you can see in your right side that the complete pole is gone just like that so click on ok so a new layer would be created which is just a mask just a mask so it's gone so now to finish this image we will just add a new layer of a gradient not gradient mask a gradient just to give a, give a vignette effect 
we'll add a gradient make sure your fr front foreground color is black and make this into a radial and reverse this make an angle of around 35 or 30 move the spotlight to here and then increase the scale of it click on ok change the blending mode to overlay or soft light yeah soft light looks good so it will just give a vignette effect to your complete image and yes this looks really good now yeah let's see before and after so this was before and this was after this is before this is after we have brought back all the colors from the sky we have we have added colors to the woods and also the subject looks really good and colorful so in the starting of the video i told you that uh, we will be using smart i mean i'll tell you the advantage of using smart object uh, and adding a camera raw filter to a smart object image so let's go back and grab another photo similar photo from So just place it here. Okay, copy this effect and paste it on the uh, on the new image. So just by clicking Alt and dragging and dropping the effect, I can apply the complete settings to the new new image. Isn't it great? So that's the advantage of using a smart. Uh, smart object converting your images to smart object and then editing it so that you can copy the effects and paste it to a new image so with the same image with the same setting you can use uh, i mean if you have shot the Im uh, multiple images in the same settings then you can go ahead and use the same camera raw filter for multiple images so to see this is before before and this is after before and after thank you guys uh, for sticking by uh, for this complete tutorial if this tutorial really helped you please leave a like subscribe to my channel and do check out my instagram page where i post a uh, lot of my work and my photography uh, to the uh, instagram page so do follow me on instagram uh, do subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video thank you